Oh. So the poem I wrote is called He Who Believes. Um, I decided to write it for school as a way to uh, spread the word of God to other people in the school that might not believe. Uh, he who believes in him has everlasting life. Oh, he who believes in him shall be saved. He who believes has nothing to fear. He can wipe away every tear. He who believes in him can't do anything. You should believe too, so why don't you? I can tell you why you don't. The love of your sins is why you won't. Satan himself will dominate your mind, so turn to God and leave him behind. You know he exists deep down inside, so I beg you to seek and give him a try. He never disappoints, he said it himself. There's more to this life than fame and wealth. He says it here, right in the Bible, so open it up and be ready for trial. Even if you do call yourself Christian, you may be lukewarm, so please just listen. The more you try and the more you do, you'll start to believe like you are meant to. But if you don't hear, you'll suffer a cost. Eternal separation from God is the greatest loss. Hell itself is waiting for you, so think about this. Salvation is true. Listen mm. to God and obey the Bible. The lessons you learn make you more mindful. It is a journey, a very long walk, but Jesus is always there when you need to talk. You'll face judgment from others, and it can be harsh, even if you are faithful in your heart. The sins of the flesh will take control, mm. and the sins of man will swallow you whole. But please stay faithful. Do not give in, for you can first confess and be forgiven of sin. Confessing your sin is a recognition it's living out your salvation and a brand new decision. But to those who believe in something different, you're doing it wrong and will not be forgiven. Others say different, but try as they may. Jesus is the light, the truth, and the way. To those who want to follow Jesus, I say, read the Bible. It's the best way. First read John, then go to Acts. After that, read it front to back. The journey you'll go through will be a pain. But remember, salvation is hope in the future you can obtain. Just say a prayer and call on Jesus' name. I've come to a closure, but that's not the end. I have one last, th one last thing to say, and that's amen.